thank God for these beautiful, very precious children and for this new week. I am the Rabbi Emeritus at Congregation Bene Israel in Baton Rouge, where I served as the incumbent from 1983 to 2008. And upon my retirement, I became the Rabbi for Temple Shalom in Lafayette and served Lafayette for seven years up until a few months ago. And during those seven years, I served for five of those seven years, Temple Sinai in Lake Charles. Now I'm slowing down. I'm not doing Lafayette anymore, although I help there and I volunteer and do a lot to help the synagogue. But I'm continuing for Temple Sinai in Lake Charles. Two very small Jewish communities, 60 families in each congregation. We're working really hard, as you all can understand, to keep them going. And thank God these children are going to help sustain and continue the Jewish community here in the greater New Orleans area. So I've prepared a little service to thank God for our coming together today. From God and Creator, your children, Andrew and Paige Katz, Jonathan and Maggie Katz, come into your presence with grateful hearts to voice the longings of their hearts in prayer and to reflect on their responsibilities as parents. Give them, we pray, the wisdom to teach their newborn children to be faithful to the heritage of the household of Israel, that they may grow up with the knowledge that you are always near to them, guiding and sustaining them. O source of love and goodness, Keep open their eyes and spirit they may, that they may ever be conscious of the beauty and wonder of your world. Let them learn to love the goodness that is in man and woman, that they may ever nourish the goodness that has been implanted within themselves. Though none can escape sorrow or difficulty, we humbly ask for these precious children the courage to face evil, the faith to transcend it, and the strength to overcome it. Grant, we pray, these newborn infants health of mind and body that they may enjoy fullness of years and live to do your will in faithfulness. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam gomeo chasadim tovim as we praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe, your love and kindness extend to all the world. So now, first, Andrew and Paige for this little prayer. Source of love and goodness, with deepest gratitude in our hearts, we give thanks for the gift of our Son. May we show our thankfulness to you by leading him in the way of righteousness. Teach us so to guide and instruct him that we may grow up to be loyal to Judaism and worthy member of the Jewish community. Great. Thank you. And Jonathan and Maggie. O eternal source of love, for the gift of our daughter, we give you everlasting gratitude from deep within our hearts. We pray that we may be worthy of the blessing and responsibility of parenthood. May we lead our daughter in the way of righteousness. May we be guided by you to help her become a loyal member of Am Yisrael, the Jewish people always devoted to the faith and heritage of Judaism. And let's say the Shekhiano together, please. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shekhiano V'Kiyamanu V'Kiyamu, Azman Hazeh. Blessed are you, O God, Sovereign of the Universe, for giving us life, for sustaining us, and for enabling us to reach this joyous day. O God, for the gifts of these children, we give you thanks praying that these parents will be worthy of the blessing and responsibility of parenthood. May the one who blessed our fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and our mothers Sarah, Rebecca, Leah, and Rachel, bless these children with life and health. May they bring joy and gladness to their parents, grandparents, and all their loved ones. May they live to bring honor to the house of Israel, blessing to humanity, and glory to the name of God. And so now here in the presence of all of you as loved ones, family, and friends, we bestow upon their names Liam Connor Katz, 
He is in Hebrew, Lev Ben Ari Tzvi Upinina, and Emma Rosecats, Reza Ben Alexander Lev U Margaret. And I'd like moms and dads to help us know where Liam and uh, Emma and so forth came from. Well, we got Liam from uh, my grandmother Leah. And Connor, we took the seed from my grandmother Catherine. Beautiful. Thank you. You want me to do this? Yeah. <laughs> Emma came from uh, my father's grandmother, who was who died at 108, no, almost 109. 109. 109. <laughs> and Rose came from just about everybody, apparently, three generations ago. <laughs> but it was uh, originally after your. My it's the same. Her great great grandmother was Rose, and Rose is the middle name of my grandmother. Two of her great great grandmothers. Right. So, and it happened to be. Right. Oh, that's right. right. And, yeah. and right. more than one's grandmother, other grandmother. Yeah. 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 Very powerful. It's, a great, <laughs> it's a great name. It's beautiful. We know and we pray and we are confident that the names of these children will become honored and respected for wisdom and mitzvot good deeds that God's blessing will rest upon these children now and always. Amen. So Andrew and Paige, Jonathan and Maggie, may you dedicate yourselves to your holiest gifts of love and respect to these children whom you have brought to be named. And may you ever give freely of yourselves so that in time's fullness, your love will bestow upon these children the gift of freedom. May joy ever accompany such giving and receiving. And so grandparents, Frank, Morton, and Carol, we have a little prayer for you all. Carol, where's Carol? Where's Carol? May you walk the path of goodness, beauty, and truth. Do justly and learn of mercy, and be humble before the mystery of life and the grandeur of the universe into which you have been born. May God bless you with fullness of health, joy, and goodness. Great. Thank you. And godparents, Christine and Pip. Yeah. Liam, Liam, you are a bridge over which we who welcome you can gaze from this day into the future days, from our generation into yours. You are the newest link in the endless chain of your family's history. Beautiful. Thank you. And for James and Debbie, and again, Martin and Carol for Emma. You are your parents' dream realized, their hopes fulfilled. You are the latest and best chapter in the unfolding lives of your mother and father. May you be blessed with a lifetime of happiness, joy, and love. And Jennifer and Mike Marsiglia, godparents of Emma. Emma, our God and God of all generations, we are grateful for new beginnings for the bond of new life that links one generation to another, thankful for the blessings of family, for the love and care that bring meaning and happiness to our lives. We rejoice at the birth of these precious new children. Great, thank you. I'd like to bless these children now. We're just gonna choreograph us a little bit. May God bless you and keep you. May God's graciousness rest upon you. May God's countenance always be with you. We pray that God's blessings of life and love and health and goodness will always be with these precious children for whom we thank God. We pray they will grow up in a world of safety, with youth and adulthood, in a world of shalom, a world of peace. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Oh, you want a finger? Good. Yeah. 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 Y
So let's make a mozi, ha mozi, let them be our rest. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together. As I joyful prayer is said, Baruch Atah Nai, Elohim, 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 Amotzi, let him be Naharetz. Amen. Mazel Tov, everybody. Congratulations. Take some breath, please. Allah. <laughs> <laughs>